Honorable Munia Zulu's utterances, but I would die defending his right to express his thoughts. We express opinions, thoughts, depending on the information we have available. The Constitution allows us to make opinions out of uh, the information that we are, is available. I have a freedom to thought, freedom to express myself, and freedom to hold opinions. So I may not agree with Honorable Munia Zulu, but like, uh, you know, philosopher Voltaire stated, that then I would die to defend his right to say it. That's how you deal with democracy. Democracy has uh, uh, different opinions, different um, uh, facts, different way of doing things. And you have to be tolerant as a government. You do not have to be draconian in your way, in your ways, as this government has been. All of us have fallen prey to this government. We've been charged, arrested, searched, and the same is not is never extended to, uh, for, for example, those that have committed crimes who are under the ruling <coughs> party. The crime of uh, corruption is never pursued under this government. You saw members of the opposition march, uh, members of the ruling party march in town the other week without a permit or notice, and not even the police stopped them. You know, but yet our rallies are stopped, our right to assemble is disrupted. Former president just wanted to go to church in Indola and uh, the entire process was uh, disrupted and stopped and the police even sealed the church. Those are the issues we are speaking to. So coming back to Honorable Bunia Zulu, whatever offense he has committed, if he's, it's bondable, give him bond. In this case, it's, it's bondable. He has secured two sureties. He has uh, two members of parliament that su surrendered letters to the uh, police officers that are dealing with this matter, and they've refused to give him police bond. His uh, access to him is highly restricted, like I said at the beginning. We've been here since 11 hours, and uh, we haven't been able to see Honorable Munia Zulu. Okay, maybe, maybe last three. Um, you know, after uh, Honorable Munia Zulu issued that statement at IBEX uh, police station, uh, we saw reactions coming from State House. I think uh, in the city of that, uh, right of coming from uh, Grace on Hamasaka, the chief um, communication specialist at State House. Maybe he, he did indicate that uh, um, the government shouldn't be blamed, um, and uh, such people that are making such utterances should blame themselves. Maybe what can be a quick reaction to that? Look, look at Matambo, uh, corporate minister discrediting the government of Zimbabwe yesterday. Are those utterances responsible? Are those utterances credible? Has anyone gone to arrest Copperbrot Minister Matambo for those careless statements? So, the, you, you have to understand what expression is. People need to express themselves. Sometimes they will say things that are unpalatable. Sometimes they will say things that are strong. Sometimes they will say things you don't agree with. But to use a law to silence people is, is not acceptable. Uh, I, I, I don't know the foundation of uh, Honorable Munia Zulu's statement, how he gathered that information. But like I said, we, then you die to defend him to say what he wishes to say. Never silence people. Allow them to speak. Allow them to say. The PF want to express themselves. They want to hold rallies. Allow us to hold our rallies. Why are you standing in the way? Why should you prescribe what we should say? Hmm? My head and your head, these are different nations. I can't prescribe how you think. You cannot therefore prescribe how I should think or speak. So let's allow for freedom of expression to thrive. Under this government, there are more people that have been arrested on offenses related to speech than any other government. There there are more people that are being arrested under the cyber crimes, you know, uh, the cyber security and crimes act under hate speech than any other before that. Before the criminal defamation of the president was abolished, we had, we had again a huge list of people that were arrested under that law. So you have a government that is quick to stifle our expression, that is determined not to allow us to express ourselves. They want us to be looking over our shoulders, afraid of the state, that we don't say what we wish. This government must focus itself on what needs to be done. The high cost of living. They need to attend to the high price of milimil. 
high price of fuel, high price of electricity. Those are issues that are bothering our people, not Munia Zulu. Our people want employment. They want opportunities to be given to them. You cannot have a sense of hopelessness that is currently prevailing in the country. It is not safe for the country. It's not good for the country. So the focus and energies of everyone should be to attend to those critical issues that are affecting our people. But what do they do? Lerova imiaba estalungu mailo bachita deploy ama police officers to stop President Ed Galungu mailo moya kanya wa PF to have a rally. Lerova ikata munia zulu mukabombari lari bane mukabombari lari. You know that will be our question. Yeah. Thank you so much. But people are saying that uh, what uh, is happening now, it used to happen a lot during your regime. So why did we go to elections? Why did Zambians vote? Isn't it that this man promised that he will change things? That he will not arrest opponents? That the price of millimil will be 50 kwacha? The price of fertilizer will be 250 kwacha? Didn't he say he will lower price of electricity? So why is he doing the very things opposite? He said he was stopped to attend the church in Chingola. So why is he stopping at Galungu attending church in, in, in Indola? Did Zambians vote for him to come and, uh, and uh, 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 provide vengeance? Don't we say vengeance is unto God? Why is he exacting revenge? Why is he determined to do the very things that Zambians rejected? Zambians don't want corruption. They don't want the abuse of the law. They don't want law enforcement agencies turned as an enemy and the two against the opposition. Zambians rejected all that. So probably doesn't understand why they put him in office. In office to clean up. Not now why I can move in the back end. So wa pia funga bari rufianya iwe fian shule rufianya na iwe you know so uh, there's no justification to repeat the wrongs that were committed uh, uh, by the pf a wrong remains a wrong whether it's done by the pf or by the upnd thank you so much uh, mr mwambane says something else that you want yeah to thank know. you very much we hope to see honorable munia zulus detained here at chilenje police station second day in a row they, you, you, you must have seen the members of parliament that were here earlier. They came to give him solidarity and they also provided surety. Again, they have not been allowed to uh, see him. They haven't seen him and they still haven't released Munia Zulu on bond, even if this offense is a bondable offense. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Yeah, thank you.